girls ask me every day, is it Monday? <laughs> like, no, it's not Monday. <laughs> well, when is it Monday? And I'm like, well, you know, when you come back to school again, that's Monday. That's when we have Girls Who Code. This is our first year. We had 30 girls sign up, which is a huge indication to me that people believed in this, believed in this for their girls, and were willing to make that commitment. Facing with the riding up. I do look forward to Mondays with Girls to Code because you get to code and it's not like just like an after school program. It's like an opportunity for other girls to learn how to code. This semester we're concentrating on Microbit, which is a little programmable computer. It incorporates a lot of engineering. We had to assemble wheels and processors. It's a lot of hands-on activities. It's fun to watch the girls get those aha moments. Um, and I love it when they say, oh, I get it. That's the best part, is when they really understand what it is and can apply it. I wanted to join the Girls Who Code for I could learn more about coding and working with other people. When I grow up, I want to be like a coder to teach people how to code. Student experience, to me, would be fostering an environment that allows them to make choices and allows them to pursue their interests and provides those opportunities that helps them grow. That's the only reason why I do this, is that I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to really make a difference for these kids that might not otherwise have this opportunity. Just to open a door and instill hope for someone and say that um, this could change their lives. Thank mm -hmm. you.